delicious girl. You're just small time. City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Your dickhead. There's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Tyranoid here, and I am here with my new Let's Play. Now, for fans returning to the channel, anyone just watching from the old days, I did start this Let's Play ages ago when I was still filming with my potato phone. I better get in the car. Um, yeah, when I was still filming with that little this potato of mine, um, no, I'm going to get rid of the radio stations because every single part of mine is going to end up completely copyrighted, like the actual videos did when I uploaded them. Um, yeah, so I was filming this with my little diddy potato phone ages ago and it was just rubbish quality, wasn't it? Uh, but now... I have a means for recording it properly, which is fantastic. So I figured with everything going on with Mass Effect, hopefully you're all up to date with that. I would have uploaded that video by now, um, telling you what. But I figured I might as well come back and do this. Won't be a very long Let's Play. GTA 3 isn't a very long game. So it'd be nice to finally get this redone. Finish it this term. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. The change of clothes I'm going to be wearing for the rest of the game. And that's my bed. That's where I sleep now. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back so I could probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over there. Oh, yeah. Now, I've not played this game in forever. Last time I played it was 2016. Yeah, I think it was 2016, mid 2016, because I got the platinum trophy for it, and then that was it. So it's cool coming back. Let's go around the back and use the service. Time to go meet Luigi. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Hey, Paul's going in there for some titties. Stay 
hello to eight ball, lady. Eight ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. God, I love these classic missions in GTA. Very beginning of the game just treats you like a baby almost. You literally have to go pick someone up and drop them off. You get paid good money for it as well. I think you get like a thousand dollars just for doing this. Better than GTA on mind for money problems at the moment. Oh Misty, I don't want to know what you were in hospital for. Someone got the car. She sounds really snotty. I've got some supreme driving skills now, guys. Much better than I was years ago when I did this Let's Play. I say Let's Play, though, it was only five parts. I think I was going through a lot of things in real life at the time, and I just sort of stopped recording everything. Yeah, look at that, 1,500 just for dropping her off. I wonder how much she would have docked my pay if I'd have done something to her. Right. I'll go save the game. I like to save the game after every single mission. Just to be sure. You never know. Let's go sleep on our little bed. Ooh, no, I don't want to save over the best file. The best file is like 100% complete now. Some of the missions on that like 100% complete. It was so tough. It was finding all the vehicles in the city. Saw the vehicles randomly spawn in weird locations in this game. Right, off to see Luigi again. He's going to teach us another valuable life lesson for anyone who wants to survive. Well, that was very stupid of you, wasn't it? Yes, I'm not dumb. I feel so weird playing this. There's no camera movement. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. Right, time to go beat the shit out of this fool. We've got our first weapon. In fact, I'm open this guy. I can't remember, but I'm open this guy's got a gun. Like, the controls and the combat and everything in this game are just so, like, old and archaic, but this is such a good game. Still the open world king. Well, I wouldn't say open world king now, but it's the thing that started it. Right, we're gonna we're gonna kill some time. Ready? There he is. Ow. I must look like such a professional hitman right now. Yo, what up? Oh my god. Young man. I thought she was coming for me then. Spank that bitch up. I don't know where to keep the radio on, personally. I'll tell you what, let me see if I can turn down the audio for the radio.
Yeah, there we go. Because the game would probably be better with the audio. Well, just for me, just for me to enjoy it, but at the same time, I'll probably get hit by some copyright. YouTube is fierce with that shit. Hey, that wasn't me. Sorry, they won't recognize me in a second. Oh my god, I lost the car door. Oh my god, I'm hitting everything. Oh wow, we look, we hardly changed the colour. Wow. They're definitely not going to find us. You know what the hardest part of this mission is though? D delivering the vehicle into the garage. That's the hardest part of the mission. <gasps> no! Don't destroy the vehicle for me. I think you have to go back and repair it otherwise. And cost you, I think, as well. Right. Whee! And how much do I get paid this time? 4,000 for dropping off a car and running over a guy. Taxi. The si city is literally infested by taxis. It's ridiculous. Here, yeah, my cab. Right. Off to the next location, which is the safe house. But it's it it's bad, guys. But like, I feel like with these old classic GTAs, I can literally memorise the map off by heart. I don't know where all the secrets are. Like I. I did cheat and use like a guide to find the packages and stuff, but I know all the locations in the map, like I know the city off by heart. That's a sign that I've probably played this game too much. Right. Oh god, yeah, there we go. 3rd of May 2016 was the last time I played this. It's almost two years. It's not actually that long, really, when you think about it. And to be fair, I have been playing this on my phone. I uh, I bought this game on my phone many, many years ago. Um, but I had a really crappy phone at the time, and I literally had to drop, like, the texture quality, resolution, um, draw distance and everything down just to be able to play it. So now I've finally got a phone. Because the other, the other phones I got after that, for some reason they were saying GTA 3 wasn't compatible with it. So I finally got a phone that's powerful enough and is compatible. So I can play GTA 3 on the go. And it's a lot harder than playing on console. Double non fun all the way in. Dirty habits. Come all ye faithful. Oh yeah. Oh look, we gotta drive Misty again. On a combo. What am I gonna do? Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. How do they know he wants his foot in the door? I've always thought the story's a little, a little off in this game. Some things just make no sense. Maybe 8 Ball just explained it to him. Then again, when did I explain to 8 Ball that I wanted to get revenge on um, Catalina? But what an appropriate vehicle to come pick Misty up in. Oh my god, she walks so slow. She's slow. You walk on regular for Luigi now, huh? It's about time you're gonna drive when you can trust. Oh well, can you trust me? Mind you, Claude's so like 
up on revenge. He's got nothing else on his mind, like he practically ignores every single woman in the game. To be fair though, I would, but most of the women in this game are annoying. Time to go to Joey, play with his big end again. She genuinely says that. Shortcuts, shortcuts for the win. I think there's some armor around here actually. I'm gonna have to have a look after this mission. Yeah, I wasn't lying. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? Well. No, oh, I almost walked straight into that. Yeah, we now have Joey's missions as well as Luigi's. I'm sure there's some armor. Yep. Yeah. Wait, is that? I don't know. The armor looks weirder in this game. It's not. It doesn't actually look like body armor. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There was armor. Come on, Claude. You could run longer than that. Eh. 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 Oh, my taxi's gone. Right. Hey, you oh, but don't get out. These shoes are new. Oh, you oh, see what I see? Not my shoes. Uh, Actually, I'll, I'll use this. Are you serious? Right. Okay, we're we'll gonna have to get a run up on this one. Yeah, what makes me laugh at this? I think is there an in-game map? No, there isn't. This is a game without an in-game map. So you're almost asked by the developer to memorise the map. But, Jesus! That did not happen. Actually, maybe if I just wait, it might blow up the fence. But yeah, this map is really small. And what makes me laugh is, apparently, there's meant to be millions of people living in this city. Most people must just be living on the streets. Right, I think that, you know, there's a mission over here. There's a secret one. Okay, not yet, but later on there will be phone missions here. They're actually completely secret. It took me quite a few playthroughs before I actually realised they were there. You can sail the seven seas. They're actually pretty fun missions. There's no, they're nothing too complex, but they're just quite funny. You're basically helping this guy butcher up a load of people that are causing him hassle. You go pick them up, you go drop them off, and he does his dirty things to them. Yeah, I think this is a lot better, guys, having the music. I can't play GTA without music. I remember when I, I came back to YouTube and I started my GTA 5 Let's Play. And... They have that thing there where I can listen to music, but it doesn't record the music. So, you lot just get this bland musicless playthrough, which is awful. It's to stop all the copyright nonsense. Right. Time to head to um, Mr. Luigi again. We'll finish off Luigi's missions first. I think Misty's going to be busy. Busy. Misty's going to be busy playing with Joey's big end again. Anyway. Oh, I'll have that. Not that you need the money in this game. There's literally nothing to buy apart from weapons. And you end up getting most of the weapons anyway just from playing the game. 